Good morning, good morning. Lost one fan, YouTube fan. William Cody, day six of the search for Daniel Robinson, the 24 year old geologist who went missing. Right here in this area. So his vehicle is located right over there, just right over there, and probably a quarter of a mile. This is a retention area. And guys, we found a clue this morning. So this morning I wanted to come over here and clear this, um, these retention areas, they just look questionable. And I think that's where the people were shooting out here yesterday. So I just wanted to come over and take a look and see what was going on. Um, we got out and we we're going through the desert, clearing the desert and the dogs circled around this. And I, I believe that this is an important piece of evidence of the case that's been overlooked by everybody. So I want to show you what it is. So this morning we hiked over here and found this and I went back and grabbed the truck and drove over here and found a road in. So Daniel's vehicle, Daniel would have traveled up this road to get over there to that area where his vehicle was found, which is probably, if you see those tall cactuses where I'm pointing, that's where his vehicle is located, right over there. So I mean, that's not even, that's a few thousand yards probably. So, as you can see, see that's a fenced in, tarp, black tarped area, and we've, me and the dogs have already gone over all this area. So we haven't hit on anything. But the tibia I found this morning is just over this hill, okay? And look guys, I flagged it, this stake I, I hammered in, and I double flagged it for Mr. Robinson and this te investigating team. Check this out, guy. And my hand of God, this was found here. Now, I've put it in a plastic bag. Check that out. That's an eyeglass case, okay? You think, well, anyone could drop an eyeglass case, right? Look at the glass. Try to get better pictures of the glass. Look at the glass. Where have you seen that glass before? At the crash site. Look at this cut. I don't know if you can see where my thumb is. Where I'm pointing, that's a cut in the eyeglass case. And there was glass from the windshield of Daniel's vehicle, which I is in the bag with the dust. So when I kind of opened it up. I didn't touch the zipper. I'm hoping there could be a fingerprint on the zipper, which is right here. See the zipper in the back? And there's a glass from the windshield of Daniel's vehicle. So this is an eye, his sunglass case. I talked to his father. His father said that he wore sunglasses, obviously, out here in the desert. And it just looks like a sunglass case a young man would have or you know it's kind of in style fashionable and it's right up from the crash site dogs circled around it they seemed interested in it i when i i kind of eased it open to make see what was in there and there was glass dust in there like from an accident like clearly this glass case was in a vehicle that was in an accident and what vehicle is around here that's been in an accident with glass? Sunroof broke, front windshield broke, side windshields broke, airbags deployed. That's Daniel Robinson's Jeep, guys. And I really think this is a key piece of evidence. Okay, so what can we take away from this? This is the road I want to show you that you come in on, that Daniel came in on. And I think he probably, this is where he encountered the federal law enforcement agent the day he went missing that was target practicing. Cause yesterday they were target practicing like crazy down in these, um, down in these retention areas. There's a lot of targets and TVs and stuff that gets shot up. So we'll walk up here to the top of this. 
this road right here takes you to the Daniel Robinson crash site, okay? I mean, it's just right, like I said, quarter mile right over there. Look where I found. This road goes around to these old retention areas and that old black retention, black tarp retention ponds. And we were hiking through, found the glass case right here in this little tiny creek drainage deal. So, I'm hoping there's some DNA evidence in the case or a thumbprint or a fingerprint or some sort of DNA that was in that can match like maybe even like carpet fibers or something from Daniel Robinson's Jeep 2017 Jeep that we can match this glass case too also I've been in touch with da uh, David Robinson Daniel's father this morning and um, he's gonna contact Daniel's sister who regularly rode with him and hung out with him and maybe she can ID this glass case and that will be huge because that's a huge piece of evidence if this is Daniel's glass case I mean did someone throw either throw it out the window or here's my theory after the accident Daniel got out changed into some cooler clothes because he knew he was going to have to hike out. He might have, might have had a head injury. Um, grabbed his glass case with his glasses because you wouldn't want to hike through the desert, you know, on a super hot sunny day in June without sunglasses. I mean, that's it's imperative out here in the sun. It's so brutal on your eyes. And the dust and the wind, he would have to have grabbed his sunglasses. So what if he grabbed his sunglass case with a sunglass and it had glass embedded in it from the accident? He's got glass all over him from the accident. So he takes those clothes off, piles them up, puts on clothes that don't have glass embedded in them, grabs his sunglasses, his sunglass case, which is right there. Grabs that case with his sunglasses in it, knowing that he's gonna need it on his hike out, okay? He's got a head injury, He know, he's, but he, he, he's got the wherewithal to grab his sunglasses. So he grabs his sunglasses, he's walking this way from the accident, headed towards the power lines. Cause those power lines over there, y'all? Those power lines are the road that goes out to Sun Valley Parkway, okay? And that would be the, right way to leave out of here if you're trying to leave out and go for help so is this the evidence that you know if this is daniel robinson's eyeglasses i gotta think that he threw that out because he didn't want to i mean it makes sense he didn't want to carry his eyeglass case with him right so he puts his glasses on and throws the glass case out because it's got glass embedded in it you know he's not going to want to carry that maybe he doesn't have pockets you know he puts his sunglasses on, drops a eyeglass case, or throws it, and he heads that way. Um, it's a new theory. So today, we are going to take off that way and uh, try to retrace his footsteps. Maybe that's the way he headed on the way out. I want to check every under every little bush and tree and on the way out. So that's the plan for today. Unfortunately, it's our last day for now just because... I gotta go back and spend some time with my daughter, which is good. And I need that, Re recharge my batteries and get out of the hot desert for a little bit. And But uh, I'll be back if we don't find anything today. But stay tuned and uh, like I said, all this is gonna be uploaded in the Find Daniel website on the GPS locations where we found the tibia yesterday, which is just right over here. I mean, all this stuff is right close together, guys, so. I don't know, hope, hopefully this is some new evidence that can be um, put into the equation. So uh, stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe and uh, notification bell. If I find any more evidence today, we'll come back. So, thanks for watching, guys. So that's where we're headed. Again, I'm gonna show you the eyeglasses.
And there's the glass. I'll try to let it focus. Glass from a windshield. I'm going to set it right back down. It's marked, double flag for Mr. Robinson to find. Hopefully we can link it. I feel like that would be a good piece to the puzzle. Have a good day, guys.